I don't need you to tell me what to do. I'm just doing my job. I'm trying to identify everyone around. If you do not move out of my crime scene, I will place you in custody right now. Are you going to be here any longer? Yeah, I'm going to be here all night. Okay. Get the light off me, tyrant. The fucking light off of me. Sir, I still need your ID. These fucking guys. You're not asking me to they leave. They asked you to leave and they said that you're no longer allowed to be I'm here. I'm conducting business. So therefore, you need to leave the location. I'm conducting business. I'm doing a Freedom of Information Act request. They asked you to leave. And so you're saying, can I get a supervisor here? Hey folks, welcome back to our channel where we chat about how we balance doing our own thing and what society expects from us. Today's story is pretty cool and right in the middle of that balance. Imagine a regular day turning super interesting because recording stuff in public becomes a big talk about rights duties and where public curiosity leads private boundaries. Our story is about two people with cameras who really believe they can film things, especially because they think it's their right under the First Amendment. But things get intense when they end up in a tricky situation with security and the police. All because they're filming in a public space. It's not just about saying I can do this. It makes us think about what happens to everyone when we record things in public. If you believe in defending civil rights, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and sharing it with your friends and family. Your support can really make a difference in spreading awareness and don't forget to head over to his channel to appreciate him for standing up for our rights. Links in the description. <laughs> What's your guys' names? Don't try to egg them on like that, man. I don't need you to tell me what to do. I'm just doing my job. I'm trying to identify everyone around. They show up and do your job. We'll talk to us. We're really? Pressed. Yes. Like You're that. pressed? Yes. What's your name? None of your business. That's my name. Okay. Moi. What's your name? So you, you need to get out of my scene right here and go over that way. Well, you're just talking to us, so. Yeah. I'm talking to you to go over there. Yeah. If you don't want to talk about it now, you don't want to give me your name, we you need to get you. out of my crime scene. Oh, there's a crime yes. scene? Why did you talk to us if you didn't want to hear? Because you're here standing my crime scene. Why, why did you try to get our information right now for? You're here want to talk to me, so I'll talk to you. What's okay, we could talk, but I mean, we don't need each other's names. You need to get out of my crime scene. You need to go down there about past my Officer, car. officer, he, the, your suspect is in custody already. You have no more crime scene. This is a crime scene right here, sir. You need to really? get out of it. Really? Really? I'll find some places for you to go. You need to be on the other side of my car. Is it because I'm recording you? I don't care what you're recording. Why'd you give out his name? What is your name? Hey, Mo. That's not important. Why'd you give out the kid's name? Your name's not important? It's going to be if I have to arrest you for not clearing my crime scene. Am I bothering you? You're in my crime scene. This is where a crime happened. You don't have the authority to be here, so you need to be on the other side of that patrol car. What I'll be on the other side of that patrol, that patrol car. If you do not move out of my crime scene, I will place you in custody right now. My crime scene is at the end of this patrol car, so you need to stand back there, then you can ask and say whatever you want. There's not even any tape, man. Fucking tyrant. Stand on the other side yeah, of my patrol car. Yeah, threaten someone with arrest. For what? What's going on right here? You're interfering with my investigation. What investigation? You were the one giving out the kid's name. No wonder he's not hey, a sergeant. He was giving right. the camera your, your grandson's name. Now that I'm out of the way, what are you doing? You check this I said right behind here. my patrol car. You're not behind my patrol car yet. Arrest me then, officer. I'm not doing shit wrong, man. I'm, I'm not bothering you. Arrest me. Do it. Here, You're man. Live already. You're live already. You're going to start getting caught. Make it feel police Fucking arrest me. I'm not doing nothing wrong, man. Senior deputy or senior officer Moy, if you guys want to make some calls and let your chief know, I'll be senior your deputy. So you're going gonna, you're gonna to get that so you can back us up? Yes, I am. Childish. Childish. Go ahead. Go ahead, public servant. Do what you got to do. You are actually childish too, man. That phone is gonna become my property as soon as you you, you take a picture of us. I'm gonna get you emails, everything. Even if you send me a Come on, go ahead and put your little tape, man. You dumbasses already know who I am. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. Look at Pathetic, guy. man. I, 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 I thought. I thought. Stupid ass on my fucking channel. I can't oh, wait. Dumbass. Someone's gonna look really stupid here. Look at this guy. It's gonna be Moe. Wow. <laughs> What are you trying to do? Gather your evidence now? Are we too close to you? Crime scene. <laughs> are we scaring you? You're a silly man, Mo. Mr. Camera Boy? You're a silly man, Mo. 
Hi guys, this is Ruby Baker from Police Department. Look at him. Senior Officer Moe, if you guys want to make some photos, feel free. Ruby Baker from Police Department. This unit will be 5945, and number 129477. Take away my job as a camera. going to put the crime tape up. It's just for show. I love it. Look at that. We're out here uh, recording, and uh, we don't know who this guy is. He just came up and just started recording, too. So, uh, much props to him. I would just record in public. Did you know that Kern County is the deadliest county for uh, police justified killings? Mo, this ain't in your vehicle, Mo? Yeah. Come yeah, on, yeah. man. You need to be behind the vehicle. Yeah, there ain't no crime scene, man. There is a crime scene. There ain't scene. no crime scene. You're, you're live right now. It's already done. You guys handled your job already, man. Still hey, bro, just scene. because you got a problem with us recording you, man, just, just really stop already, man. All right, there's the stop. There's your attitude says no. Let me get him high. All your asses need to take your ass back to high school, bro. Get behind the crime scene now. Arrest me, man. When we leave, you can do whatever you want. Arrest me, man. I'm not doing nothing wrong, man. Get behind the patrol car because you're interfering with our investigation. Let your ego give it up, man. Arrest him I'm going to tell you one more time to back up behind the patrol car, and then you're going to be arrested for being in our investigation. For what? Am I doing something wrong? It's the crime scene. He said he got hurt. Cop, leave him alone. Back up behind the crime scene. <laughs> back up, back up. Back up. <clears throat> Just leave him. We're going we to get him with his chief. We're going to go to the police station right now. Am I breaking the law? You are until you get behind that patrol car. You didn't put a, the crime tape, bro. Yeah, bro. It's just like right there. It's even getting put away because there is no crime scene. Filming in public is a right protected by the First Amendment, which guarantees freedom of expression and information gathering. Courts have consistently said that taking photos and videos in public is a crucial part of free speech and press. This was confirmed in cases like Glick versus Cuniff, where the courts acknowledged that people have a protected right to record public officials in public places. In the video, the people argue that they have the right to film on a public easement, supported by legal cases that distinguish public areas from restricted state property. They say public easements are meant for everyone, including filming, and point to public utilities in the area as evidence that it's intended for public use. The correctional officer's questioning of the filming authorization shows a possible misunderstanding of state policies versus public rights. While security is important, especially near a correctional facility, it needs to be balanced with constitutional rights. The suggestion to contact the public information officer for permission, while following institutional rules, seems to clash with the broader legal permission for public filming. While law enforcement has a valid interest in security, it must be done without violating constitutional rights. The debate is about whether the precautions suggested by the officer are reasonable or if they go too far and limit public freedoms. The main point of the interaction is the argument about jurisdiction made by the photographers. By saying they are on a public easement, they highlight a crucial legal boundary for their right to film. The difference between public and state property is important, showing that while there may be some restrictions on state property, public spaces have broader legal protections. We want to hear what you think. Share your thoughts in the comments. Your voice is important in shaping discussions on important topics. Let's keep exploring, asking questions, and getting involved in the world to make sure our rights are respected and our communities are safe. Excuse me? You can stay right there. I don't need to approach you? No, you can stay right back there. You can walk back that way. Ma'am. You can, can you... walk back that way. Yeah. Keep walking wanna... back that way. Can you de-escalate a little bit? Because I feel like you're trying to just exert your authority over me and I don't like I'm it. I'm not. I'm speaking to you in my normal voice. You have no authority over me. Okay? Actually, I do. I'm in a public building. I'm conducting lawful business. And they're asking you to leave. I'm conducting lawful business. No, they didn't. That's yes, a lie. Yes, they did. 
They did not ask me to they leave. They asked you to leave and they said that I'm you were no longer allowed to be I'm here. I'm conducting so business. So therefore, you need to leave the location. I'm conducting business. I'm doing a Freedom of Information Act request. They asked you to leave. And so you're saying, can I get a supervisor here? Right here. Hi. I'm conducting lawful business. I'm an okay. independent journalist exercising my freedom of freedom of press right. Okay. It's a right, not a privilege. Freedom of press. This is a public building. You guys have one, two, three, four, five officers here, six, including yourself, Sergeant. Okay. It's completely uncalled for. I'm trying to conduct business. Okay. What is your business? What are you trying to I'm do? I'm doing a freedom of information request, mm -hmm. which is a law. Okay. And I'm also gathering content for a story. Right now, we were called here by the people who work in this office building. Okay. They are concerned for their safety and their well-being that there is somebody in here. They've asked you to step out and to leave and to stop they did, the video. They did not. Here. I have it on camera. They did not ask me to leave. Okay. Well, that's what they're relaying to us. Okay. So that's a that lie. That's why we are here right now. I'm not going to dispute truth or fact right now. I'm going to tell you that is why we're here right now. We are going to conduct our investigation. That's fine. Okay? Conduct whatever to, investigation you like. for your ID. Because we do need to know who we're speaking with right now. You're going to ask for That's my ID. Part, yes, I am. So, That's in order. Part of our investigation. Okay. In order for me, for, I just want to just. I, I, I listen to you, so I'd ask you to just listen to me. I don't need to assist you in your investigation. I don't work for the police department. Uh -huh. I don't want to assist you in your investigation into me for whatever reason. Do you have a crime that you suspect me of committing? Do you have we're reasonable, here, articulable here suspicion? On an investigation of the complaint, yes. Do you have reasonable, articulable suspicion I've committed a crime? We're not saying that you committed a crime. We are here to investigate a complaint right now. So if you haven't, if I, if you're saying that I haven't committed a crime, then I don't have to provide you my ID lawfully. So I'm not going to. Okay, then I'm going to ask you to step out of this building and to leave this building. I'm conducting business, ma'am. Okay. At this point, you were asked that, that you were not allowed welcome here anymore, and we were going to ask you. To but leave you can't stop room. somebody from recording. You can't okay. stop somebody I'm, from gathering. I never from asked gathering. you to stop recording. That is not what I've asked you to do. I asked you're you asking to me to leave the, a public building, no, ma'am. Yes, you are no Can I get your name? In this building, no. my name is Sergeant Mayor. Sergeant Mayor, and your badge number? Yes, four five six. Four five six. And are you telling me that if I don't leave this building, you're going to arrest me? I'm telling you right now that you're going to leave this building. Yes. No, but okay, I just, I just want to know. Requested. I'm not going to, to argue with you back and forth. Let's step outside. Are you an attorney, okay. sir? This is, this is actually our I'm house the right here. I'm a supervisor. I am an attorney, but I'm not here in that capacity. Okay. I just walked down the hall. Sir, so maybe, maybe, maybe I can speak to you and we can, we can come to a better understanding here. Well, I'm not, um, I'm not going to speak to you while you're filming me. You're free to film me. But I'm not going to have a discussion on camera with you. I'm an independent journalist. Yeah, That's but you're wonderful. violating my, but your officers, you're the supervisor. So I just want to let you know, you're opening yourself up to civil, and you said you're a lawyer. You're opening yourself to civil litigation. All I'm doing is I'm peacefully filming. I'm not bothering anybody. I have to do a FOIL request with the town clerk's office. I have official business here. I'm exercising my constitutional right. That's all I'm doing peacefully. And you're going to kick me out of a public building? I'm going to ask you to give me one minute. Okay, great. No problem. You guys really don't have nothing better to do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight officers for one man with a camera. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not, I'm not nefarious. I don't have any ill intent here. I don't understand. What's the big deal? Somebody can't film? You have cameras. One, two, three, four, five, six cameras all over this building. What's the difference? I don't understand. Seems like a big waste of resources for your city here. Really does. Really does. Can I get your name and badge number? Officer Since everybody wants to be here. What is it? Officer Winter, like the season. Okay. Can I get your name and badge number? Ryan Moss. Right here? Is that R-I-G-H-T? Oh, okay. Simpson, 524? Hi. Excuse me? Am I being detained? You are being asked to stay here for our investigation. Am I being detained? You are temporarily being detained as, okay. we, as we commit our investigation. Unlawful detainment. You can call it how you... It is an unlawful... You have to learn the law. If you're going to uphold the law, you took an oath to the Constitution. Freedom of press is part of the Constitution. You have to... If you're going to uphold it, you have to learn it. This is an illegal detainment. You can't detain me unless, you've, unless you suspect that I'm committing a crime. This is all things you should have learned in the academy. And as a supervisor, I think that's, you know... You should really know. You cannot detain somebody legally without you having uh, suspected me of committing a crime. This is ridiculous. We're good, yes. We're good. Thank you. Can I get your name, sir? Can Lieutenant I get your Dolan. Lieutenant Doland? Thank you, Lieutenant. You guys are dismissed. Please don't detain me unlawfully anymore. No one's detaining you. She, no, 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 no. No. Uh, if he's not doing anything illegal or dangerous or disruptive, exactly. that's fine with me. It's, it's okay. my right to be in this building.
as long as he this is a taxpayer's building rules, then this is the taxpayers building. Well, okay but thank you very much. And and by the way, she did detain me. Oh, just so you know. Gonna, just so you know, it's on ca it's on it's on camera. She okay. did detain me. Well, I'm not gonna so that's an unlawful detainment. Well, I'm not gonna detain you. Okay. okay. Great. Take care, guys. This is the biggest uh, walk of shame I've ever seen. Completely insane, uncalled for. Sir, you're a lieutenant, right? Sir, I would like to uh, okay. I would like to talk to you about a complaint I want to make against the sergeant. Right, she well, unlawfully detained you me. Want to go that. to the front of the lobby? Go in the front lobby of the police station. I'll, I'll entertain that complaint for you. Okay. You'll entertain yep. the complaint in the lobby. Okay. I'll be I'll be over there. And your name was again, so I can know who I asked for. Dolan, Lieutenant Dolan. Lieutenant Dolan. I'll be over there shortly after I conduct yeah. my business. Thank you, Lieutenant. This video showcases why Long Island Audit has earned a reputation as one of the premier auditors in the field. Watching it was truly inspiring and highlighted the crucial importance of openness and transparency in such endeavors. The police displayed a readiness to intervene forcefully, but their intentions were thwarted by the timely intervention of the town supervisor, who also happens to be a legal professional. Seem, the lead auditor, astutely pointed out the potential legal repercussions of the officer's actions, leading to a significant shift in the dynamics of the situation. It's disheartening to witness instances where law enforcement personnel failed to uphold the very constitution they'd sworn to protect. Even the surgeon present appeared overly zealous in his willingness to trample upon individuals' rights. One can only hope that these officers will be held accountable for their behavior, thanks in part to the efforts of individuals like Sien, who tirelessly advocate for justice. For aspiring auditors entering the scene, Long Island Audit serves as a shining example of the proper approach to auditing. It's not just about confrontation. It's about fostering understanding and holding those in power accountable while maintaining a respectful demeanor. It's important to note that this isn't a dismissal of other auditing styles. Rather, it's an acknowledgement of the value of diverse approaches that ultimately serve to educate and promote transparency. As a platform showcasing various auditing channels, I extend my respect to all individuals who courageously put themselves on the line for this cause. Be sure to stay tuned for more captivating clips as we continue to witness the emergence of new auditors who are making significant strides toward excellence in their field. Let's forge ahead in our quest for accountability and transparency. So we're here at the Chino Hills. Hi. How are you doing, sir? Can I talk to you? Sir, can I talk to you? Excuse me. 2213. Can I talk to you? Better back the fuck up, bitch. Can I talk to you, please? No. What's going on? Get the fuck on. I just want to talk back to you. Back up. Back up. Can I talk to you? No, you can't. Back up. Why not? Go away. What's going on? Go away. I just want to see. Go what away. You Nobody wants to talk you? to you. Go away. You got any idea on you? No. Are you fucking kidding me? I just want to talk to you. What the fuck do you need my ID for? Because we got a call for service regarding someone over here and that's why we're Doing here. what? Recording and standing around the station. So I need to come and talk to you and see what's going on. Alright, what law am I breaking? You're not breaking any laws. Then why are you asking me for ID? Because it's a call for service. And what? So I got to give that to you? Yes sir, you are required to. Oh yeah? Okay, yes. hold on. Let me give that to you right now. Where's it at? Don't worry about it. What are you walking away for? Because, am I being detained? Yes, you are. For what? For what crime? For this investigation. No, no, you got to tell me what crime I'm committing right now. I'm not saying you're You got to tell me what crime, if I'm being detained, what crime am I being detained for? You're, be, you're being detained for a subject check, and that's what I'm here for. Subject check. You're not checking on me, homeboy. Side of the station. Fuck off. Subject recording and still uncooperative. Fuck yeah, I don't need to cooperate with you. 
Can I get your ID, sir? No, fuck no, you can't. You can back the fuck up and go back to work. That's an idea. Go back can to I see work. Your ID? Go back to work. Can I see your ID, sir? Go back to work. I am at work. All right, well, go. Go do something that yeah, matters. My job here is to contact you. And nah, you. you're harassing me is what you're doing. This is called harassment. This is called harassment. This is the harassment, sir. Fuck yeah, it is. We got a, a legitimate call for service saying that there's somebody in the back of our station recording and possibly... And what's the, the, what's the law that says I can't be on the station's property recording? There's no law against that. Okay, then fuck off, bitch. There's fuck no off then. That. If there's no law, then I'm not being detained, right? Yes, Am I being detained, being yes or no? Because I'm trying to Am I being detained, yes or no? Yes, you are, sir. I'm for what crime? You are. For what crime? It's not necessarily a crime, but it's a Ah, no, 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 no. The law doesn't fucking work like that, dude. How the fuck did you become a deputy and you don't know the law? I do know the law. Then what's the, what's the law? Tell me, what's, what are your grounds for holding me de in detention right now? What, are your, what, is the, what is the law you're holding me in detention for? I'm here for a subject check and you are the What subject is subject the check. law that I'm breaking? You're not breaking any law. Okay, well then fuck service. off. <laughs> then fuck off, dude. Go away. Get back in your bitch ass. Get back in my vehicle and go back to work, bitch. I'm sorry, that's a San Bernardino Sheriff's vehicle. Sir. Exactly. Now, Paid by the taxpayers' now. money. I'm here Paid by the taxpayers' money. Get it right. Get it right, young sir. That car is paid for by the taxpayers' money. Okay. That is not your vehicle. That belongs to the sheriff's department, paid for by the taxpayers' I money. I never said it was my vehicle. Yeah. I said it's the sheriff's department. Well, I told you it's my vehicle, paid for by the taxpayers' money. Okay. Are you going to be here any longer? Fuck yeah, I'm going to be here all night. Okay. Get that fucking light off me, tyrant. Get the fucking light off of me. Sir, I still need your ID. <laughs> These fucking guys. Yeah. Get that light out of my camera. Hey, you fucking bitch. That's right. Tuck tail and run. Kick Have rocks, day, you sir. fucking bitch. No, fuck you. Have a good day. Sir. Fuck you. What's your name and badge number? My name is Deputy Chow. Have a good day, sir. What's your badge number? Please step back. Okay? What's your badge number? Please step back. No, you try to violate my rights. What's your badge number? I am not violating your rights. What is your badge number? It's right here. I can't sure, fucking sure see. All right, well, I'm going to shine the light on you then. Okay, go you're right, right with that? All right. I'll even read it to you. All right. It's Stay back, please. It is 2531. That's my badge number, okay? What's your name and badge number? Deputy Dreyer. I don't know my badge number. But my employee number is Frank8543. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. You try to violate my rights today. Have a good day, sir. You try to violate my rights. Have You're going to hear from my lawyer, sir. Okay. Mr. Chow. Mr. Chow, right? Yes, sir. CHAO? Yes, sir. Are you the only CHAO here? I'm the only Deputy Chow here, sir. All right. You're going to hear from my lawyer, buddy. Right, have a good you night. You fucked up. Have a good night. You fucked up. You learn to respect the public, young man. Have a good night. Sir. You learn your law too. You learn about the about the First Amendment. Have a good night. You learn your law. All right, have a good night. You took our oath. You took our oath. Learn what the oath says. Have a good night, sir. Learn what you're supposed to be doing out here, protecting and serving. And that's what you I'm didn't doing. do any of that today. And that's what I'm doing. You didn't do shit. That's what I'm doing. You didn't do nothing. All right, have a good night. Yeah, go back to work. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Fucking right. try to harass me. Fuck off, bitch. Have a good night, sir. Yeah, get on. What the hell? This who asked me for ID. He said I was detained. He said I was detained. Couldn't tell me what crime I was being I was committing. He said taking photographs in the back parking lot. Excuse me, sir, can I speak with you? The person being addressed politely asks for a moment of the individual's time. However, it's essential to understand that the person being addressed has the choice to engage in conversation or not, particularly if they haven't violated any laws. They retain the freedom to walk away if they wish. Despite this, the officer persists, insisting on seeing the person's identification, asserting it's a standard procedure in their line of duty. Contrary to the officer's claim, this request doesn't align with legal requirements. 
Furthermore, they assert that the individual is being detained for a routine check, which is also an incorrect application of their authority. In reality, the officer is unlawfully restricting the person's movement without valid cause. A closer examination of the officer's statements reveals inconsistencies and contradictions, raising questions about their understanding of the law and proper procedure. To compound the situation, two additional officers arrive on the scene, prompting inquiries about the necessity of such a response. It appears excessive and wasteful to deploy additional resources merely because an individual is exercising their constitutional right to record and express themselves freely. Furthermore, it's disconcerting that the officers involved seem unfamiliar with their own badge numbers, a fundamental aspect of their identification and accountability. This oversight raises concerns about their attention to detail and adherence to protocol. Additionally, the questionable competency of Deputy Chow, as evidenced by their apparent memory lapse, begs the question of how individuals with such limitations are admitted into law enforcement roles. This observation underscores broader concerns about the hiring and training practices within law enforcement agencies. If you believe in defending civil rights, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and sharing it with your friends and family. Your support can really make a difference in spreading awareness and don't forget to head over to his channel to appreciate him for standing up for our rights. Links in the description.